Simple Art Talk. So for today, again, it's just a little recap of your last assignment for the fall scene. So in here, you'll be able to, of course, look at these um, later on uh, and take a look instead of me posting everything so you guys will have this all in a video. So again, we talked about the color wheel last class. Complementary colors, again, those across from each other on the color wheel. Then, of course, we had split complementary, which are the ones right next to the complementary color uh, that are across from the one that you picked. So it makes a little kind of triangle. Our next one, of course, was the triadic. Again, this one here, they're separated by three colors. So here, of course, we have purple, green, and orange. And then lastly, we have analogous. This is, again, colors that are buddies. They're all next to one another. So again, if you don't remember these from last class, here they are in virtual form for you guys. So when you're working on your artwork over this little fall break, since it's a fall scene, uh, I'll make the Dropbox do for sometime next week for you guys, because uh, I really want to see what you guys can do with color. So with a little bit of help with some video editing here, we're going to go on to our next part. Here is our fall scene, a little bit of inspiration for you guys. So again, I want you to guys have two Right? two of those color theory concepts in your drawing. So if it's analogous, split complementary, whatever it is, make sure you're writing it down on the back of your artwork. And remember when you're taking a photo of your artwork, please make sure you take a photo of the back of it with your little piece of information written on there. Or if you have a separate piece of paper, right, just make sure you include that. So our first image here on the, the left, right, that's kind of a spooky house with a ton of pumpkins, a lot of them. Then on the right here, we have a more traditional fall scene. Then we get into some nicer colors here. Uh, we got quite the variation. Uh, then we have a little example of a watercolor over here on the left. So again, you can make it a little bit more bright and cheery if you wish. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be spooky. The whole goal again is to see if you guys can use those color theory concepts. Uh, and then same over here with this one in the field surrounded by an ocean. And then of course we have a uh, palette knife version down there at the left. That one's a really nice one. And of course, some more spooky looking forest scenes. So hopefully this is enough inspiration for you guys on uh, this Friday. So best of luck with the rest of your artwork and I look forward to seeing what you guys can produce. So until next class, have a good one.